What's up guys, Tom Matthew here from feelandtomplus.com and today I'm going to show you how to cut out the background from all your pictures without using Photoshop. Okay, so here we are on clipmagic.com and this is the tool that I use to cut out all the backgrounds from all my images without using Photoshop. And I'll leave a link in the description below so you can go and check it out. But all you have to do is go over here and click upload image and choose an image from your computer. I'm just going to choose this image right here, adoring, and it's a really nice simple one for an example. And this is the tool that comes up to cut out the background. It's very simple. Over here on the left you have your actual workspace where you're going to cut out the image. And over here on the right is what you're going to, that's the final result. That's going to be the final result. So all you have to do is use the green plus button up here to select the image that you actually want to keep. So I'm just going to go like this, nice and simply, and then you use the red little minus thing to choose the background that you want to get rid of and bang it just works as simple as that and that's how easy it is and over here on the right you can see how it's cut out the background really nice and easy and fantastically well but here's the thing this image has a clean white background and it has very defined and very easy edges so what about a more difficult image Okay, so here we are on the workspace again, and I've chosen a much more difficult image. It's not a clean white background, it's a background with multiple lightings that's shining off my head. There's a few gaps in there, so I'm going to show you exactly how to cut out the image. Same process, you choose the green plus button and you choose the image that you actually want to keep. So I'm just going to go over here, something like this. I'm going to get my arm in there, I'm going to get my fingers in there as much as possible, and I'm going to get my hand over here as well. And I'm going to try to go close to the edge where it's light. I'm just trying to select all the parts that I actually want to keep in the image. And now I just go over to the red minus, minus button and choose the background that I want to get rid of. So I'm just going to go like that. It's clear. See how good it works? It's so much easier than Photoshop. Bang, I'm going to get rid of that as well. I'm going to get rid of this up here. And we just do the work. Patiently, patiently. Get rid of here. Okay, so now I've gotten rid of the back, most of the background, and I've gotten most of the image that I want to keep. But as you can see, the the edges are really rough. It's cutting some of me off, and it gets up here. So how, the way you fix that is you go up here and you choose the zoom feature. You just hit zoom a couple of times, but then you use your arrow keys on the keyboard and you zoom over to the problem area, and you can work on it a lot better. So I'm just going to go really close to the edge with the red so they know this is the part I don't want. I don't want the part that I'm highlighting in red. So I go close to the edge, I go back over to the green plus button and I choose what I do want. And it'll adjust it. Now look at me, look how close I am to the edge now. Perfect, look at that. That is sensational. Now of course it is image editing so you're going to have to fiddle with it a bit but this is the best, best tool that I've seen and it works so, so well and so quick. Look at that, look how good that edge is. Now as you can see here, I'm missing a bit here, so once again I'm going to get the red minus button and I'm going to go, I don't want this, I don't want this, I don't want any of this. Cut that out, cut that out. Now I'm going to get the green plus button once again and choose right near the edge of what I do want. And the tool will adjust the image. Now hang on, the light's really going to there. There we go, bang. Sensational. And you can see over here on the right, the edge is much more clearly defined right there and we've got a bit here as well let's get rid of this so once again I'm go I've got the green I'm gonna choose I want oops I'm working on my workspace over here I want this and I want this but I don't want this like that very nice look at that sensational and of course I could do a bit more work on the head but for example sakes I'm not gonna do that right now and then all you do is you hit download download result. Okay, so here are some examples of images that I've made in clipmagic.com. As you can see, I'm moving the image around and there is no background. I can move it anywhere. If I change the background color, nothing happens. You can see the background goes right around the image. Look at that. Right around the image because the back there is no background on the actual cutout image of me. That's really cool. Really, really cool. Here's an image of dad and you can see once again the image is has no background and I can move it around anywhere I want. So here's how it works. For $4 per month you get 15 credits. Now that means you have you can download 15 images. 
For $8 a month, you get 100 credits, which means you can download 100 images that you have cut out. And then for $15 per month, you can get 500 credits, which means you can have 500 downloaded images that you've worked on, which is really, really good. And the great thing is, if you don't use all your credits in one month, they will carry over to the, to the next month, all the way up to 500 credits, which is really, really nice. So there you have it guys, that's how you cut out the background from your photos the easy way without using Photoshop. If you got something out of this video, please hit the like button below. If you have any questions at all, put it down below in the comments section and I'll do my best to answer it. And as always, we put out a new video every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. So please subscribe. See you later.